Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss cause I Hiya, um, and welcome back We have a trip review um, of our last trip to Disneyland Paris which was in September First of all though, if you haven't been uh, here before and seen our channel, my name's Sarah I'm Robert We're Adventures with Sarah and Robert, so welcome, thank you Remember to um, like this video if you uh, like it, obviously um, Remember, leave a wee comment down below, let us know you stopped by and also hit that subscribe button which is down below as well yeah. Okay, so will we start off our trip review uh, with some hints and tips as well, throwing in with the um, hotel we stayed at at yeah. the airport, yeah. which was the Holiday Inn Express at Edinburgh Airport. Yeah, we hadn't stayed at this hotel before, we had stayed at another one on a previous trip. Um, and no, that was really good, wasn't it? Uh, it was really good. Um, we enjoyed the hotel, it was a bit further out than what we thought it was going to be because um, I think we thought it was one that was just further along the street Yeah. because um, there is like two holiday inns or something like that but it didn't really matter, the hotel provided a free, sh well it wasn't a free shuttle but it was like £2.50 yeah, return or something like that yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't like expensive or anything um, it was nice and clean, spacious rooms um, the food was good as well. Yeah, it was real nice. Um, Robert had a fail. If any of you have seen our pre-travel day video, which we will link up in the corner and down below as well, yeah. um, you'll see the whale that Robert ate. Um, what did you have? A burger? I had a burger, which was delicious as well. I never managed to finish it all, did I? No. Um, and so, yeah, so the hotel was really good. Uh, the breakfast was nice as well the next mm -hmm. morning. It was a good price as well. Where did we book it? Uh, we booked it through booking.com. I think it was. I think it was. Because mm -hmm. we, if you book through booking.com and you keep doing it, you get like a genius thing, remember? Yeah. So, like, the more genius points or more genius level, the more you level up in your genius, the more discount you get and different things like that. So, um, that's what we did and we got it for quite a good price. Yeah. Um, I think it was actually through Holiday Extras. It was a Holiday Extras. You get discount through your work on Holiday Extras as well. Yeah. So, one or the other. That's the two that we tend to use. Yeah, that's a good, uh, yeah, it's a good uh, one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. Moving on to our flights with EasyJet. Yeah. So, we were flying from Edinburgh Airport to Charles de Gaulle. Yeah, we always fly with EasyJet because I think it's good value and they uh, The flight times aren't that bad as well. No. It's easier for us like, so we stay in the west coast of Scotland. So for us the likes of the uh, train um or the ferry or driving over <coughs> on the the tunnel aren't a viable option for us because we would then have to drive down to South England, which for us is about eight hour drive. So it's not a viable option for us, whereas we can fly the flights like an hour, an hour and 20 minutes. Um, Glasgow Airport is 40 minutes from where we stay approximately. Edinburgh Airport's about an hour and a half. So for us, obviously the quickest option is to fly with EasyJet. Air France also do flights to Charles de Gaulle from this region, but they tend to be probably a wee bit more expensive yeah. and there isn't as many of them. Yeah, I'd imagine Air yeah, France is very, uh, is a lot more expensive uh -huh. than so, Air probably. I don't know, but uh, I just imagine that. So putting it into perspective, our um, EasyJet flights worked out about thirty pounds a flight or something yeah, like that. Yeah. So a uh, uh, a couple of times in the year they'll release flights, so you really need to get you really need to know those dates and then go on and. Get your tickets as soon as they're released, and we use the Martin Lewis website, the Money Saving Expert website. He'll generally tell you. He'll tell you, and you can set up notifications and things like that as well for it. Um, so we, for a few of our trips, because they were so close together, we were able to buy them 
and like one block so at one point we were buying eight flights so that's like four flights each so two lots of returns because you have to pay each flight individually with EasyJet you don't buy a return ticket it's like you pay your ticket going out and then your ticket going back so we were averaging about £30 per flight um, which meant obviously that was a great saving as well we also have the three um, app the want to app because that's who our mobile contracts with so there's lots of benefits with that um, although on this trip we tried to use it which uh, is something else we want to talk about we didn't do it properly we didn't do it properly uh, we'll try and do it a bit better yeah so next trip which is coming up soon we will try and use it a bit better and hopefully be able to show you if we are successful in using it um, but that will just obviously be wait to be seen um, we flew on the lunchtime flight. Yep. Um, which then turned into the dinner time flight. <laughs> yeah, so we probably won't do a afternoon flight again just because you're missing out in your day, basically. I know. So we were flying what, about one half one, something like that. Yeah. And we ended up not leaving till about half an hour or so later. Then the flight was like in a Charles de Gaulle. Then, oh, there was a whole load of hassles with it. But it wouldn't put us off flying EasyJet again because the price is so good. It was probably but choose an earlier flight. Choose an earlier flight, obviously. Um, and yeah, it was just one of those ones where it was like a snowball effect. So, one, so there was an instant, obviously, after another one, after another one, after another one. And then we ended up being oh, quite late in. We were still on the plane when we expected to be at the hotel, basically. Yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare. Uh, so we probably wouldn't recommend getting an afternoon flight if no. you want to make most of your day. And also, uh, so once we got off the plane, uh, we uh, got a magic shuttle to which we thought was going to take us to the partner hotel, but it didn't. It took us yeah. to the Vitezzi train station at Disney. Uh, the, the bus stop basically and then we had to go on another bus so if you're staying at a partner hotel we wouldn't recommend you get the magic shuttle yeah because, because it doesn't take you direct to your hotel no. as you're on the magic shuttle you see your hotel yeah you pass it you pass it and you think great i'm first off and you're not you're getting taken to the train station where you then get the hotel bus um obviously to the hotels like the all the partner hotels are like in one kind of street and um, like there's one bus for it so then you just get dropped off as you go um, now to get the magic shuttle is a hike mm. so bearing in mind you, we come in on EasyJet <coughs> at Terminal 2D um, every time every time so that's where obviously EasyJet land um, I think that's for all over the country from what I can see and then you have to go to two <coughs> F, you alright there? Yeah. Robert's got a cough. But if we need to, we'll just roll them off to the side. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so you need to go to 2F, I'm sure it is. It's E or F. It's like literally in Timbuktu. So basically, you have to walk all the way down there, down like 40,000 flights of stairs, 10 miles of airport. That's obviously an exaggeration, but that's what it feels like when you're towing your case. Um, so you're going from D to F. Um, and you'll find it. It's not the most signposted thing ever. No. There's like one tiny wee sign that's like this size. Um, the reason we know is because we used it like a year ago and we had directions from then that we printed off from online and we'd have to remember about it. So obviously we used that um, and we kind of knew where to go. Um, but it is quite hard to find. Um, for that but just remember it's um, 2F and it's quite a hike so you have to allow yourself about 10 to 15 minutes to yeah. get from your terminal but D you don't know when the buses are going to be there but you don't so. know when your bus is going to be so that brings us on to the next bit when we pulled up the bus was there yeah but and that doesn't mean to say it's going to leave straight away no they wait and fill it up yeah so we were another 40 minutes waiting for mm -hmm. that to be filled up so they'll wait and fill it up with passengers, even though there's maybe 10 passengers there. 
they'll not go, they'll wait and fill most of the bus up and then they will leave. In fact, see if you <laughs> want to spend a wee bit more <coughs> If you want to spend a wee bit more money, uh, you'd probably be better doing a private transfer and that way you're not waiting and you're yeah. just on it. So, the private transfer tends to be a wee bit more money um, and there's loads of different places you can book that. Um, EasyJet do have their own. It's okay. It's not the best. Um, in our personal experience, obviously everybody's experience is different. I've used it for different things. Um, like other trips apart from Disney trips and things like that and they've been okay. I think we've used it once on a Disney trip but I can't remember yeah. um, and that's fine. You've got the likes of um, Magic Breaks, I think they do that as well. There's different ones as well and then you've got, um, who else does them? Holiday Extras. Holiday Extras. I'm trying to remember the uh, other name. You can do it for easy as well. I've said easy jet, oh. so that's fine. Um, and so yeah, there's loads of different options and stuff like that. And any links or anything like that, what we'll do is we'll leave them down below. Um, or if anybody's got any other um, suggestions or anything like that, or leave them in the comments down below so that everybody else can see them. And obviously we can help each other out. Um, we then <coughs> arrived at our hotel. Our hotel was a partner hotel, as we've said. It was the Vienna Dream Castle. Yeah, it was very nice. Um, it was four star, uh, and we got a good deal on it. We done that through Booking.com, mm -hmm. um, and it was not. It was a really good hotel. Uh, it took me a while to go through check in, just because of how many people arrived. Yeah, at the there same was. Time. We only had two people on check in, and um, well, it was free. It was free. No, there was another one that wasn't doing the check in. Oh, right. So there was like two people on check, just doing the actual check-in and um, I think one was like concierge or something like that on the desk and so obviously there was loads of folk arriving at the one time and you know it took a while to go through. Once we got to the room, the room is lovely and spacious. Yeah. Uh, we have done a room tour so if you want to check that video out we will um, obviously link it down below and up in the corner. Yeah. Um, and you can see that. Um, but the room is lovely. The we always think that the lighting in the room's bad, yeah. um, but that's from a vlogger's point of view. So obviously, like the like the dim lighting and everything like that was obviously it's like a hotel thing. It's atmospheric and relaxing and all that jazz. We like nice big bright lights so we can vlog. Anyway, um, it was themed around sort of a Knights <laughs> of the Realm sort of yeah, nice, thing. Knights of the Templar sort of thing. Uh, it's like. King Arthur or something, that kind of vibe, which was really nice, it was really good, very well themed. Um, there was a Disney shop in the hotel, which if you are an annual pass holder, yeah, you kind of... are able, yes, uh -huh, uh -huh. to do that. What were your thoughts on the hotel? Oh, it was a really nice hotel, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Would you stay there again? I probably wouldn't, just because of the location. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a free shuttle from the hotel to Disney, but you get out in the middle of the country, so if you want to go there quite early... Uh, You're relying on the bus, aren't you? Which yeah. The first bus is ten past eight, and the last bus is midnight. But, uh, it's about five euros for an Uber. Yeah, so one day we did get an Uber, so it was like five, six euros for an Uber. Um, for, I think for us, in the way that we like to Disney, <laughs> Val de Europe on, on site is probably our better bet, um, yeah. because Although there is a shop in the hotel, we like to have more about us. So that's why we like Val de Europe and that's why we like on site because you've got obviously Disney Village and everything like that. Um, the partner hotels are great, they really are. Um, and I think they're good for families as well because there's a lot to do at night time if you've maybe got younger children, things like that. Where there's a, there's a pool, there's plenty of space for them to play, there's a wee kind of kids <coughs> play area, things like that. So. We probably would recommend it for that for us. It was good to experience it. Yeah, but probably won't stay there again. No, not because the hotel was bad or anything. No, it's just the location. The location and the for us, it didn't really work for the way that we like to do things. Um, when we were there, it was run Disney weekend. Yep, it was a really good environment. Oh, uh, it was brilliant. Really good. Uh, everybody was supporting the runners and stuff. It was really good. And Disney had uh, set it up really well. Yeah, they had. 
Um, no, we, we really enjoyed it. We really, we really enjoyed it. Like the way that it set up, the atmosphere, everything like that. Like we were going to be running in it, we never got the bibs that we wanted and needed. Um, so we, I think we'd definitely do it again. Unfortunately, we'll not be able to go to the Run Disney event <coughs> next year. Due to a trip we're going. Due to a trip we're going on. But obviously you guys will find out about that at some point soon. Um, so unfortunately we're going to miss out next year. But never mind. Yeah. And in fact we're going to miss out also on the Princess Run which is the one in May. Because we've got a trip just before that. So. Yeah. Never mind. But guys definitely if you fancy the Run Disney weekend. Even if you just want to go to spectate honestly. It's fantastic. Like just spectating, cheering on the runners, the atmosphere, everybody's talking to each other, friendly, like cheering each other on. It was fantastic. It really was. Yeah. And I thought that parts were gonna be chaos, like absolute chaos. Do you know something? It wasn't as busy as I thought it was gonna be. No. Like I really thought it was gonna be never get on any rides or anything like that, but we really did get on a fair amount of rides. Yeah, we did. Uh, we got all our favourites. We? we got all our favourites and stuff like that. So um, the only thing we didn't do was go into studios. Um, there isn't much in studios these days anyway. Um, so we just kind of left that for our next trip, and we never went into Fantasyland because the wait times and that were sky sky high because it was a weekend. Obviously, the young kids are in, and obviously it was run Disney weekend, so we never bothered with that. Um, it was also the festival of the Lion King when we were there. Yeah. Um, and that was really good as well. Um, I was the Jungle Book Live was a like a parade and music and music dancing. and show. It was, it was phenomenal. Um, I and, want them to have it all the time. And there was a some a some wanted edition food that we were selling as yeah, well. Yeah, there was food and merchandise and yeah. loads of stuff like that, which was really good to see. Again, I uh, will link that vlog in the corner yeah. and down below. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, it was really good. And the we food really enjoyed it. Really the only thing we did see was the the Pride show, um, the the Lion King like sort of festival, sort of like theatrical show. We did attempt to go and see it, um, but the queue was <laughs> so long and we just decided that it wasn't worth standing in the queue um, when we could be doing other things and experiencing other things. Um, and then once the quack, 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 dearie me, once the park had quietened down um, later on in the day, it was absolutely torrential rain and it was bouncing off the ground. So we didn't want to stand out in the rain, obviously. Q for, for that for like half an hour, 40 yeah. minutes. You would get absolutely salt and would be miserable. So we decided against that. However, good news. Yep. It's done next year. Yep. Uh, I didn't know that, but uh, Sarah's the uh, admin for a Facebook group. Yep, guys. So yeah, that's another thing that we we always like to recommend is like there's loads of Facebook groups on Facebook because it's a Facebook group, um, like really really helpful. I'm admin, admin for one called Disneyland Paris Info Zone. so what I'll do is I'll leave a link for it down below um, and it's a really helpful group, um, everybody's really really friendly on it and I would highly recommend joining something like that, Not if it, even if it's, if it's your first time or a hundredth time, there's always something you can learn um, from, from them or Maybe you've not ever, like we've been loads of times and there's still things that we've never ever done or there's still things that we're learning and different things like that so that's really good for that um, so I'll leave that down below but through that obviously and through kind of looking up all the Disney news and stuff like that to obviously put on the page and um, we learned that um, the Festival of Lion King is returning next year which is super exciting um, so if you didn't get a chance to go this year then obviously you'll get to go next year yeah. if you're able to go and I would highly recommend it it was phenomenal yep. it really was so is there anything else that you can think of that any hints or tips or anything else that we can point out no, I think that's it I think that's us for this trip we just thought because it was such a short trip we basically had one proper full day in the park 
the Friday night we did, well, as you've seen if you've seen our vlogs, we walked into the park, walked straight back out and went to something to eat, because <laughs> we were starving. The Saturday we had a full day in the park, and then we had most of a day in the park and the Sunday before we had to go for a flight, because our flight was at like half nine at night. Yeah. Which is another tip I would recommend, is trying to get the earliest flight possible there, and the latest flight possible back. Um, that way, obviously, you maximise your time in the park. Um, would you go for a weekend again like that? I think it was too short. Yeah. It was quite short. If it was our only option, yes, I probably would. <coughs> yep. Um, but rather go for maybe like three or four days. Yeah. I think that's what we like to do. So. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope that you've learned something from this and it's maybe helped you plan your trip. Remember, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Yep, and uh, again, subscribe, like the video, uh, hit that notification bell so you're aware when the next vlog is up. Yep, so thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go I'll take you to a place, we can see it